as a historian, as a longtime politician and observer of politics and as a university president, um, Michael, do you have any advice for students um, learning and trying to navigate the world today? Mm, boy. Um, don't believe all the bad news. Um, I really do think, I mean, it's not just happy talk. I really do think um, we're all lucky to be alive right now. This is a perilous world. It's a dangerous world. We talked about some of the things that are scary out there. Um, life expectancy is longer than ever. Um, the chance that you will grow up and have a healthy child and the chance that you will get education, the chance to get all the basic life chances that a student's future depends on are better now than ever. So don't believe the negative talk. Don't believe the scary talk. Don't believe we're more polarized than ever. Don't believe all this stuff. The thing, that, the thing that's the hardest thing in life is to think for yourself. I'm an old guy now, and I'll tell you, the hardest thing in the world is to think for yourself. And I've been trying all my life to think for myself, and not by the story, not by the discourse, not by the rhetoric, not by the ideology, but just think for myself, by which I mean see the world as it is for me. And, and I think that's the advice I would give to kids. Try and see the world for yourself. You're not living this life for your, your mom or, or your dad. You're not living it for your teacher. You're living it for yourself. And so you have to see it for yourself. You have to see what's true. And it's very hard to see what's true in this world. And I, I feel sometimes I'm, I'm part of an industry that spreads negative views about the world and despairing views about the world. But I just don't want that to infect young people. You know, I want them to believe in their own future. I want them to believe in their own reason. And I want them to believe in their own willpower. And I, you know, go for it is what I think I would say.